rich tapestry of cultures, languages, and traditions serves as a beacon of diversity and uni unity in the Americas. Much like the Perry Center's mission, Suriname exemplifies the harmony that can be achieved when diverse entities and groups work together towards common goals. Our mission at the Perry Center is straightforward, to work together with partners in Latin America and the Caribbean, addressing mutual challenges and leveraging opportunities. Through education, outreach, and research, we aim to promote human rights, the rule of law, democracy, and a deeper understanding of US policy in the region. Our vision is to remain a trusted center where the top minds in security and defense, like yourselves, come together. The Paris Center for Hemispheric Defense Studies has no unknown institution for us here in Suriname. In the past, we had a few officers attending courses in Washington, D.C., where they were enriched with concepts regarding security and defense in the Caribbean and Western Hemisphere. Some of these officers put their obtained knowledge and gained network to good use as staff officers. Frequently, studies, research papers, and discussions are followed, and fields from scholars are also taken into account when strategies and policy measures are discussed here within our institutions. Our contemporary environment, which can be characterized by its volatility, uncertainty, and complexity, requires comprehensive approaches when issues and threats are analyzed. Speaking from a defense perspective, something, sometimes a threat doesn't need a military solution, but a political and perhaps a psychosocial or economic solution. For example, insecurity in Haiti is needed, correct? Excuse me? For example, the insecurity in Haiti is indeed complex. There will not be a simple solution for Haiti. But when analyzing the problem, you soon discover that unemployment, poverty, and weak institutions are the root causes for the enduring fight for survival. So, economic and psychosocial measures, for example, better education and improving health facilities and helping Haiti to penetrate international markets might create better avenues. A milestone. It is a milestone in the growing security cooperation between our two nations. Often, when we think about security cooperation, we think about the exercises we do off the coast or doing humanitarian work, building schools and other things in town. But what is really important also in terms of security cooperation is the administrative side of our defense activities. It's how we work together. Now, while this could be less glamorous to the general public, it is equally important to the success of what we try to do. It is equally important to our security and our security cooperation. Smooth operations in the field depend on smooth communications and smooth planning process. And without that foundation, few missions. Defense cooperation between our great nations can easily be classified as being very successful. We can even affirm that this partnership is an example for cooperation between countries in the field of defense. In the year 2023 alone, there have been more than 14 activities with respect to education, such as courses and subject matter experience exchanges. Ladies and gentlemen, I show great appreciation first and foremost to Ambassador Robert Fauché and his staff at the Security Cooperation Office for always advocating for knowledge enrichment of Suriname's government officials. As you all can see, not only military personnel are present here today, but personnel of other relevant agencies also receive the opportunity to gain more understanding about the basic tasks of a Ministry of Defense in a democratic society.